This is uh, the second part of my uh, video that I did warning you about uh, this company that makes these really defective products which is based out of Canada which is Future Mobility Healthcare Inc. So this cushion here it looks really nice but I'm going to show you uh, where you shouldn't buy it and how shocking you're going to how shocking this is going to be to you to learn all this stuff. So I'm going to slow down here so you can uh, pause this video and you can read all this information. And this is not free advertisement I'm giving them. So let me scroll um, this PDF file up. It's only two pages. And I'm going to scroll it here. Let's go away as far as we can go. There we go. So it looks very impressive when you look at this and especially this part right here where it says that it's got memory foam. Because as you saw my first video and the link below this video will show you the other videos that I'm doing because the people that I talked to at this company in Toronto uh, were so rude and ignorant. It's just absolutely insulting. You know, they don't care because I think all these big companies, they make all their money off the government. They don't care if their products are good or not. <laughs> they, the government just keeps spending huge amounts of money trying to help disabled people. And there's no uh, regulations in this country for products. You can buy anything you want, a television, a seat, anything that you, you buy for your child or for anybody, any product put on the market in Canada has a, some kind of mechanism in place by the government to make sure that the products are safe, uh, that there's ways to recall things in any way. But when it comes to uh, products for, for the wheelchair business, uh, there's no super over oversight by any government agencies anywhere. And which is the reason why I've, I've put my wheelchairrights.wordpress.com website together because there's so many problems uh, in this business that, and uh, the people that are suffering are the people that are disabled. And uh, I'm going to show you something again. So you see how nice this cushion looks? And they say it's memory foam. And here it tells you what kind of foam they used. Okay. Now I want you to notice that it has a very thin cover over it. And it's actually a very good cover. It's, uh, it's waterproof. It's like uh, having a raincoat on. But the problem that I called the manufacturer about is that this foam, um, Canada is a, is a country that has cold seasons. Everybody has them. And if you take this uh, chair outside and on any cold day, the cushion, and this is no exaggeration, this cushion will harden up like a rock. I mean, just like sitting on concrete. And it won't move. It won't flex. It won't give. No matter how much you weigh and you can try to push down on it with your hands, you can't get the foam to move. This foam is defective. It doesn't, it doesn't work on, in our cold and climate. Now, I've shown you the, uh, so far the whole thing, this, this whole uh, PDF file they have. And see, uh, let's see if there's a, another page to it because I don't think there is. Yeah, we're right, we're right at the bottom. So this is it. This is what they, they send out to people that are looking to buy this cushion. So all the information you get. And when I talked to the lady on the phone, she told me, well, you know, you shouldn't be using it outdoors. I said, what do you mean you shouldn't be using it outdoors? Does it say that anywhere on your literature that this foam is going to harden up? Anyway, the second phone call that I made, because the first person was so rude, the second person was, it was a little bit more polite, but again, just as rude as ignorant as can be, they just don't care. He said, well, you know, you, should always, you can always go back to wherever you, got your cushion, you bought your cushion from and just get your money back. I said, that's not the answer. You know, I mean, you really should care about improving your products if you want to stay in business. And they really don't care, and, uh, and they know I told them I run websites, I told them I do reviews and everything else. So I figured, okay, I'll just do more, more detail here. So this one here is, is about uh, the back that's called Supreme Cushion, which is uh, a, bris, a prism brand. And uh, it's a prism brand that operates under, under this company, which is... Anyway, I'm going to move over to my other screen here, and I'll show you. There's, two, there's both the pieces of the back of our wheelchair right now. So I'll just zoom in right here so you can see uh, their, uh, their, their website or their company name. But you know, unfortunately, uh, people that own wheelchairs and are using them don't have much say because the government is the one that pays for everything. So if a person gets a wheelchair, they all of a sudden they find out that uh, they, have a, you know, they need uh, a soft cushion because their, their condition is very fragile. And, they can't, and chairs, wheelchairs, people don't realize, wheelchairs ride really rough. 
You know, if you had a car that rides as, as rough as a, as a wheelchair does, it would be recalled very quickly because you'd be getting jolted and banged all over the place. And if you were sitting on a hard rock, solid hard seat, uh, and you're driving around in a vehicle that has no air in the tires and rides like a, you know, like, you know, like you're, uh, I don't know, it's, you may as well go to a quarry with big boulders and start trying to, you know, drive over them with, uh, with uh, anyway. I might sound like I'm exaggerating, but I'm just telling you that this this cushion right here, don't buy it. Supreme Cushion by Future Mo uh, Mobility Healthcare out of uh, Mississauga, which is Toronto. So this is a product warning. Don't buy it because that cushion right there is no good when it's cold outside. And I'm not talking about really cold. I'm just talking about cool. You can put that in the fridge and this cushion will harden up like a rock. So I don't know. They say it's memory foam, but from what I can tell when I touch the cushion, uh, what they show with the handprint there, I don't uh, see that. But you know what? That's only like an inch, if that, at the very top, that's memory foam, and um, it's a terrible cushion. It may look really nice. No good. Don't buy it. Thank you, but now stay tuned, because I'm going to do another video about um, this backrest. And this backrest is really bad. So I figured, well, because I'm not pleased with the way they treated me, I'm going to have to do another report. So there'll be three videos with this, and you go to wheelchairrights.wordpress.com. And uh, go look at the warning and, that I, and the report that I'm going to do about all this. Thank you for watching.